all right god bless everybody god bless you um we're having some technical issues so we have to start a new one but i want you to just open your mouth and pray and invite the holy spirit of god just wherever you are just pray that the holy spirit of god ministers to you and i pray that the holy spirit of god speaks to you and i just open up your mouth please lift up prayer wherever you are let's pray that the holy spirit of god has his way in the name of the lord jesus invite the holy spirit of god the father as i seek your face may i find you lord as i seek your face may i find you lord because this month we have dedicated to seek the lord just open up your mouth in the name of jesus the lord may you minister to me lord spirit of the living god may you minister to me lord spirit of the living god may you minister to me lord may you minister unto me spirit of god just open up your mouth wherever you are and lift a prayer in the name of the lord jesus asking the holy spirit of god to minister unto you asking the holy spirit of god to speak to you asking the holy spirit of god to have his way spirit of the living god open up your mouth please and pray in the name of the lord jesus in the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want us to pray. I want us to pray. Let's just read Genesis 37. Amen. Let's read Genesis 37. I just want us to pray. I just want us to pray. Amen. Genesis 37. Please let me know if you are there. Amen. Genesis 37. Maradabusha. Please get your Holy Bibles ready. Yeah. Genesis 37. Please. Yeah. Read from verse. Yes, verse 5. Okay. Genesis chapter 37, verse 5. Mm-hmm. Uh, now Joseph had a dream, and he told it to his brothers, mm-hmm. and they hated him even more. Mm-hmm. So he said to them, Please hear this dream which I have dreamed. I have dreamed. I have dreamed. Mm-hmm. Seven. There we were, finding sheep in the field. Then behold, my sheep arose and also stood upright. And indeed, your sheep stood all around and bowed down to my sheep. Mm-hmm. Verse 8. And his brother said to him, Shall you indeed reign over us? Or shall you indeed have dominion over us? Mm-hmm. So they hated him even more. For his and for his Amen. We all know this story. Skip to verse 17. I mean, verse 18. Yes. Yes, please. Genesis 27, verse 18. Now, when they saw him afar off, even before he came near them, they Hold on. Hold on, God. Hold on, please. Hold on, please. Yes. Read, read from verse 15 down. So, this is Joseph. He had a dream. He had dreams, multiple dreams. And whenever he told his brothers, the Bible says his brothers hated him for his dreams. Amen. Now, a time came like as part of his usual regular duties, he would go and feed his brothers whilst they, they are working in the field. Amen. So now read verse 15, Genesis 37 verse 15. We're about to pray. Mm-hmm. 
Now my question to you, what are you seeking? What are you looking for? What are you seeking? We are seeking the Lord in this month. But my question to you, be true to yourself. What are you seeking? What are you pursuing? What are you seeking? When, when, we go, when you go before God, what is your purpose? What is, what is your pursuit? What are you seeking? Joseph was seeking, wandering in this life, wandering in the wilderness for, you know, seeking for his brothers. But my question is, what are you seeking? Before the woman of God continues, I want you to just, you know, lift up your Bible and just pray that, Father, this is your word. I hold in my hands your word. As you are going back to the Bible, please speak to me with this question in your mind. Tell the Lord to minister to you. What are you seeking? What are you looking for? When you go before the Lord, as we've dedicated this month as a man to seek the Lord, what are you seeking? Just open up your mouth and say, Lord, please speak to me. I am very sure that many of you are now thinking about what you are seeking. But ladies and gentlemen, today God is about to give you a revelation. Just open up your mouth wherever you are and say, Lord, speak to me. Give me this revelation. Minister unto my spirit. I hold in my hands your holy Bible, Lord. Please open up your mouth and pray. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. Please let your voices be heard. Pray and tell the Lord, the Father, I hold in my hands your holy Bible. I believe you are the word. I believe this is your word. I am what your word says I am. I am who your word says I am. As you are going back to the Bible, Lord, may you minister unto me, Lord. May you minister deliverance unto me, Lord. May you minister salvation unto me, Lord. May you minister repentance unto me, Lord. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, I pray that let my spirit be opened to receive your revelation, so to receive your divine direction, so I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, may you have your way, Lord. Lord. Spirit of God, may you have your way, Lord. Spirit of the living God, may you have your way, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus, like Joseph, many of us are wandering in this life, seeking after something, but we pray in the name of Jesus, the Father, through your word, you direct our path. Father, we pray that through your word, you will lead us. Please open your mouth and pray. I don't know what you are seeking for, but the man asked Joseph, what are you seeking? As we are seeking the Lord, what is your reason? of seeking the Lord? What is the purpose of seeking the Lord? What are you seeking for? Open up your mouth and pray the Father. Use your word to minister to me. Use your word to speak to me. Use your word, Holy Spirit. Use your word, Lord. Use your word, Lord. This is your word. I hold in my hands your word, Lord. As I go back to the Bible, may you minister unto me, Lord. May you give me directions, 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 Lord. What are you seeking? What are you seeking? Please open up your mouth uh, and say, Father, I hold in my hands uh, your word. Uh, I believe in the word of God. I believe in the Bible. Father, as we're going back to the Bible, may you speak to me. Please open up your mouth. Hold your, hold your Bibles. If you don't have your Bible, your iPad, anything, just hold it up and say, Father, I hold in my hands your word. I believe you are the word. You are in the word. I am what your word says I am. I am who your word says I am. I shall go back to the Bible. Please speak to me. Deliver me. Minister to me. Deliverance. Salvation. Repentance. Prosperity. Glory. Favor. Father, minister unto me in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you the question again. Joseph had a dream. God bless you. Amen. Joseph had a dream. He told his brothers, Amen. Amen. Joseph had a dream. He told his brothers. And the Bible says they became angry. They became pissed, worried. Now Joseph was wandering in the, in the wilderness. He was looking for his brothers. The Bible says, he met a man 
And the man asked him, what are you seeking? What are you seeking? And I'm asking you the same question. As we are seeking the Lord, what is your purpose? Or you are just praying just because, you know, we are praying? What is your purpose? What are you seeking? Remember, we've learned that whatever we are seeking after, whatever our purposes are, must align with that of the Lord. I want you to pray again and tell the Lord Jesus Christ to align your thoughts, your focuses, your purposes, your desires to or with the plans of God for your life. Just open up your mouth and pray so that you do not do things your own way, so that you do not choose things that may bring troubles to you. Just pray in the name of Jesus. The Father, I seek you. May you align your purposes and your plans with that of mine. May I seek after your purpose. May I seek after what you want for me. Not what anybody wants. Not what anybody thinks. Not what I want. Not what I think. But what you, God, want for me. Just open up your mouth and pray. In the name of the Lord Jesus, come and pray to align your plans, your purpose, your desires with that of the will of God for you. The Bible says, be do not be conformed to with this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may prove that which is good, acceptable, and the perfect will of God. Somebody, you must prove that. Align yourself with the plans of God for you. Align yourself with the perfect will of God. Pray in the name of Jesus, the Father, may you align me. May you align my thoughts. May you align my purposes. May you align my focuses. May you align everything that I do, my desires, with your perfect will for my life, Lord. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus that my destiny will not be manipulated. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus that my destiny will not be confused. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus the Father, I may fulfill your purpose for me, Lord. Align your purpose for my destiny. Align your divine purpose for my destiny. Makata, lakata, lekata, 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 Please open up your mouth and pray. The Father, may I align in my life uh, with your divine purpose for my destiny your divine purpose for my life in jesus mighty name amen. amen now our final prayer before we go back into the word of god sometimes if you're not careful life the choices of men manipulations you know competition and things of that nature can distract your path from fulfilling God's divine purpose for you. What am I trying to say? Sometimes if you're not careful, you might want to get what someone has. And maybe that may not be what God, or you might want to be or do what someone else wants you to do, but that may not be God's divine purpose for you. Sometimes if you're not careful, you could be manipulated into doing what may seem good, but may not be God's divine purpose for your life. We are going to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Father, Holy Spirit, align my destiny into fulfilling your divine purpose for my life. The reason why you brought me into this life, as I seek you, the Bible says, for the eyes of the Lord goes to and fro, Seeking for whose all ever's heart is loyal to him. Just open up your mouth and pray the Father. Align me. Align me. Align me. I was listening to Lester Summer, the late Dr. Lester Summer. He was a great evangelist. And then he said, one day, the Lord told him that now become a pastor. God has a purpose for you. 
God has a purpose for each one of us. You want to pray the Father? May I fulfill your divine purpose for my life. Not, not what anybody thinks. Not what I feel like. Not what may look nice. But help me, Lord, to fulfill what you, Lord, wants me to fulfill. Just open up your mouth and pray. In the name of the Lord Jesus, that you fulfill God's divine purpose for your life. That you fulfill God's divine assignment for your destiny. Open up your mouth and pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. Come on, pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. That you will fulfill God's divine purpose for your life. That you fulfill God's divine assignment for your life. That you fulfill God's divine purpose. The Bible said, the man asked Joseph, what are you seeking for? Why are you here? Why are you here in this world? Somebody open up your mouth and pray. The Father, help me to fulfill your divine purpose for my life. Help me to fulfill your divine purpose for my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. God bless everybody. This is Back to Bible. Please get your Bible. Write the Bible verses down. And when it is over, you go back to the Bible. And the Lord will minister to you. Amen. Now, let's continue. Genesis 37, verse 15 down. Genesis 37, verse 15 down. Amen. But I encourage everybody to read the whole of Genesis 37. Please read the man of God. May the Lord use you. So Joseph went into the bush, wandering. He was stranded. He couldn't find his brothers. So a man saw him and asked, What are you seeking? Joseph said, I am seeking my brothers. I'm looking for my brothers. Please help me. Joseph was frustrated. You could tell from the conversation. He said, Please help me to find them. He was seeking for his brothers. My question to you, what are you seeking? He's in the wilderness. He could face lions and bears. He's in the wilderness. He could be killed. He's in the wilderness. He doesn't even know where to locate them. He was wondering, my question to you, as you are seeking the Lord, Praying, fasting, doing all your best. What are you seeking? What is your reason or your purpose for your pursuit? What are you seeking? Now go ahead, please. The very people 
that he was there to help give them food. The very people that he was risking his life for. The Bible says, when they saw him, they were conspiring to kill him. My question again, what are you seeking for? What are you seeking for? What are you seeking for? That is my question. What are you seeking for in this world? What are you seeking for? They were conspiring to kill him. Go ahead, please. 18. Listen, sometimes what you are seeking for, what you are pursuing, the reason why you are seeking the Lord may be an arena or an atmosphere that may kill you. Sometimes what you are seeking for may not be or have a good intent towards you. He said, what are you seeking for? So I'm seeking my brothers. He was looking out for his brothers. Going to give them food. What are you seeking for? And the Bible says, these same brothers were conspiring to kill him. Why? Because of his dreams. What you may be seeking for may be an atmosphere that could kill you, but hold on to your dreams. I say, hold on to your dreams. Sometimes, what you are seeking for, if it is able to kill you, the Lord will let you know so that you will move away or move into a different direction. This is why it is important to seek the Lord in everything that you do. Joseph thought he was seeking for brothers, but he was seeking for people that want to kill him. Amen. He thought he was seeking for his brothers. But little, little did he know that they were conspiring, gathering. When they see him from afar, they start to think. They start to say. They start to assume. They start to do things. Why? Because of the dream that he carried. Amen. Because of the dream. Look. This dreamer is coming, they said. Verse 20. Come therefore, let us now kill him and cast him into some pits. And we shall see some wild beast has devoured him. We shall see what will become of his dreams. Even before we continue, I want you to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Bible said the first steps of the righteous are ordered by the Lord. Amen. There could be something you and I may be seeking for that if you don't seek the face of God, that thing could kill us, could destroy us, 
or could mess us up. I'm not saying that the fact that that atmosphere or that vicinity has evil intents or can negatively affect you means that you should stop. No. It depends. Amen. This is why we seek God. I want you to pray to the Lord right now. Be serious. Amen. The Lord order my steps because Joseph was just walking, walking. I can imagine Joseph approaching, approaching. This is a young boy that was wandering in the wilderness. He was wandering, you know, risking his life to look out for his brothers, risking his life, risking his life, seeking his brothers. And the Bible says, whilst he was approaching, I believe when he saw his brothers from afar, he was released that at last I am seeing my brothers. God bless my kids. Amen. He was rejoicing from within him that at last I have found my brothers. I have found my brothers, the people that I look out for, the people that I'm seeking for. But they were thinking evil for him because of his dreams. I want you to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. One thing that we may not know is the hearts of men, the thoughts of men, the gatherings of men, the conspiracy against you. Just open up your mouth and pray like Joseph. What? are you seeking for pray the lord may you order my steps for me come on open up your mouth wherever you are and pray that the lord will order your steps from wrong associations from wrong arenas from wrong directions from wrong path may the lord order your steps sir. joseph thought he was approaching his brothers to bless them but they were thinking evil they were assuming evil they were insinuating doing plots against him. Just open up your mouth and pray. The Lord, may you order my steps for me, Lord. May you order my steps for me, Lord. May you order my steps for me, Lord. Please open up your mouth and pray. You never know what people are conspiring, what people are saying, what people are doing. Open up your mouth and pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Bible said, they said, here comes the dreamer. They hated him because of his dream. They hated him because of his purpose. They hated him because of his assignment. Open up your mouth and pray the Lord direct my path. These are some of the reasons why we seek the Lord. Open your mouth and pray. May the Lord for you. May the Lord lead you. May the Lord direct your path in every direction, in every purpose, in every decision, in every choice. Pray right now that the Lord direct you for the footsteps of the righteous are ordered by the Lord. Say, Lord Jesus, may you order my steps for me, Lord. Say, Lord Jesus Christ, may you order my steps for me, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, may you order my steps for me, Lord. From evil wishes, from conspiracies, Lord, from plots, Lord, from assumptions, Lord, I pray, Lord, may you order my steps for me, may you order my steps for me, may you order my steps for me, Father, I place my life into your palm, I place my destiny into your palm, may you direct me, Lord, 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 Lebre kabaranda randosha, lebre kararaboshe kata, lebre kataranda rabosha, makatere dorianta, makuranda barianta. They hated him because of his dream. Was he was looking out for them? Was he had no bad thoughts for them? They were plotting against him. They were conspiring against him. They were plotting against him. They wanted to kill him. They wanted to destroy him because of his dream. But may the Lord. All that your steps and my steps for us uh, by the power of the Holy Ghost, uh, by the power of the Holy Ghost, uh, by the power of the Holy Ghost, Makate Akarodosa, Liba Katorianta, Lebren Katorianta, Le Kadundu Atanta, Le Kerere Boshata, Le Berere Boshata, Le Berere Boshata, Le Barada Randa Rabadaba. Yes, Lord, uh, please order my footsteps uh, so that I may not miss my way and fall into the trap of my enemies. Yes. Open up your mouth and 
pray that the Lord will order our steps. People are conspiring. They will smile with you, but they are conspiring. They will laugh with you, but they are conspiring. May the Lord order our steps from the traps of evil men, from the traps of wicked men, from the traps of people. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, may the Lord order your steps so that they don't kill your dream, so that they don't kill your vision, so that they don't kill your purpose, so that they don't kill your sermon by the power of the Holy Ghost. Pray the Lord, order my steps, Lord. Pakaturian Tada, Lebre Kadurian Tada, Lebre Karanda Rodo Sokopa, Le Kababaya Baraba, Le Kabarabo Shekapa, Le Pen Katerianta, Le Karanda Randa Dianta. Here comes the dreamer. They, be, they hated him because of his dream. They hated him because of God's divine purpose for him. They hated him because of God's divine assignment for him. They hated him. Open up your mouth and pray in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Maso Kotori Adaba, Lebre Kabaranta, Lebre Kabaranta, Lebre Kabaranta, Le Kadurianta, Lebre Karandoso, Le Parandaranta, Le Parandaranta. Please open up your mouth. Please don't take it for granted. Pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. Any conspiracy, any conspiracy, any conspiracy, the Bible says, Blessed are you when men revile you and persecute you and shall say all manners of evil against you falsely for my sake. Pray the Lord Jesus. May you order my steps, Lord. May you direct my path. Path. May you order my steps. May you direct my path against any conspiracy by the power of the Holy Ghost. Makatorianta, le kadodianta, le karende brosha, le pakatodianta, le kede de be de be, me kede de be de be de be, me kede de be de be de be, me kede de be de be de be. Makoranda basheta. What are you seeking for? What are you seeking for? The very people you may look out for. The very place you may think is good, it may kill you. Pray in the name of Jesus. The Lord direct my path. I'm Buddha and Daraba. That I may not be within the trap or the confinement of my enemies. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, order my steps. 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 Makoto do do do, libe de de be de be, libe de de be de be, libe de de be de be. Lukuranda Barrianta, Spirit of the Living God, order our steps, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. They said, "Here comes the dreamer. We will kill him." And see what becomes of him. Meanwhile, this guy was in the wilderness trying his best to reach his brothers, trying his best to bring food, but they were conspiring to kill him because they had seen, because he told them his dreams. I want you to pray right now. That may the Lord order your steps to know, to discern who to say what to, who to reveal what to, who to do what with. Amen. And you're also going to pray that peradventure, per if you and I probably have made that mistake, Told people that we are not supposed to tell. Revealed to those that we are not we were not supposed. May the Lord blind them from your dreams, from your visions, from my dreams, from my visions. Holy Spirit, Father, watch your word and let it be 
in the name of Jesus. Come on, open up your mouth and pray. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that may the Lord direct your path. May the Lord order your steps into knowing who to tell what to, into keeping secrets in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you have told anybody about your dreams, about your visions, may the Lord blind them in a jealous eye. Makatu akadi akorianda, le karianda rodo soto, le pakoturianta, le kedede bosha, le kedron turianta, le badin du arianta, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, I pray, makuta kateke, le kete lokota, le bron karianda de bosha, le badada badaba, le badada badaba, le badada badaba, Father, order our steps, Lord, order our steps, Lord. Give us the same angel. Makuranda Rarabosha, Maturi de Bosha, Makuri de Bosha, Maturi de Bosha. David told his brothers his vision. David made them know, and that is why they hated him. Open up your mouth and pray. The Lord lead me, direct my path to know who to reveal what to. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, Makodo do Badada, Maseke de 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 I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. Father, help me, Lord, to descend, blind my enemies, blind my enemies from my visions, Lord. Blind them, Lord, from my visions, Lord. Blind them, Lord, from your purpose for me, Lord. Blind them, Lord. Blind every jealous eye by the power of your name. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Please, please continue. Continue reading. I hope you are being blessed. Amen. So Joseph was wandering in the wilderness. He was lost. A man asked him, What are you seeking for? He said, My brothers, not knowing. They were his killers. Go ahead, please. Um, uh, uh, verse verse yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now hold on, pause. Hold on, please. Listen. Who is Reuben? Reuben is Joseph's eldest brother. Reuben is Jacob's first son. When you read Genesis 49, Jacob called all his sons to speak into their destinies. And he said, Reuben defiled his bed. And so, though he was the firstborn, he was not going to be blessed. Reuben is Joseph's oldest or eldest brother. Now, when such a decision is made among brothers, I, I am very sure that the oldest or the eldest has a strong voice or a strong say over there. But listen, after they conspired, after they had conspired, the one that had the strongest voice, the eldest one, was the one that intervened for him. It is my prayer for you and I that in their conspiracies, may God raise a Reuben for you and I. Amen. A Reuben that will be a whistleblower. A Reuben that will come and tell you everything. A Reuben that will fight for you. A Reuben that will contend for you. A Reuben that will be at your defense, even in the camp of your enemies. Lift up this prayer and say, Lord, may you raise up a Reuben in the camp of my enemies, in the camp of those that conspire against me. Let there be a Reuben, one that will fight for me, one that will be a whistleblower. Come and tell me in the name of the 
Lord Jesus. Most times, unconscious of themselves, they will tell you, just open up your mouth and pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. May the Lord raise rubies in our midst. May the Lord raise rubies in the name of Jesus in the camp of our conspiracies. Any conspiracy against us, let there be a rubin that will snatch. Let there be a rubin that will fight for us. Let there be a rubin that will be at our defense in our families, in our workplaces, every area of our lives. Let there be a rubin in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In our churches, let there be a rubin in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus among our friends. Let there be a rubin in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ in our families. Let there be a rubin our workplaces. Let there be a rubin that will contend for us, that will fight for us. Somebody, are you praying that is a conspiracy against you? There is a plot against you in the camp of the enemy. Let there be a rubin, one with a strong voice, one with power, one with authority that will stand for me, that will fight for me, that will be at my defense. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command by the power of the word of God, let there be rubies raised among the camp of my evil wishes. In the mighty name of Jesus, those that wish me to fall, those that wish me to dis disgrace, let there be rubies. Father, raise among them a rubin that will contend, a rubin that will fight for me, a rubin that will fight for me, a rubin that will be at my defense. In the mighty name of Jesus, a rakuranda bata, libre kabadianta, libre kadadabosha, libre kadadabosha. I pray, Holy Ghost, let there be rubins, Lord. Let there be rubins, Lord. Raise among men, rubins, in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus. Any conspiracy against me, any gatherings against me, as we seek the Lord, Father, let there be rubies, Lord. Let there be a Reuben that will stand for me. The Bible says, Reuben, the elder son said, let's not kill him. Let's not kill him. They had plotted to kill him, but there will be a Reuben. I decree and I declare by the word of God, uh, let Reuben stand up. Uh, let Reuben stand up. Uh, be at her defense. Uh, be at her defense. Uh, be at her defense. Uh, be at our defense uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Listen. There's one thing that the Lord does. He can let people do things against their own will. Amen. Yeah. God can do that. God can let you do something against your own will. For instance, there was a decree that every male born that was born to the Israelite or a Jew must be killed. But the same house that made that decree was the same house that raised Moses up. God caused them to do something against their own decrees and their wills. Amen. You are going to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. Reuben was the eldest, the one that had the power, the one that had the might, the one that had the authority. But against their own will, they hated his, they hated their brother. But against their own will, he he, he stood in for him. You want to pray in the name of Jesus? When they gather against me in my workplace. When they gather against me everywhere, may the Lord cause men, may the Lord cause them to be rubies, to do things for me against their own will, to fight for me against their own will, to contend for me against their own will. Father, watch over your word and perform it 
in the name of Jesus. Come on, pray in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. La Corada Bashe Kede de Bosha, Masse Kadadabo She Kadadaba, Libre Cabro Cabro She Kadadaba, Libre Kadadabo She Kababadaba, Lorende Borende Bro Kadadaba, Libre Kadadabo She Kadadaba. Thank you, Philip. Thank you, Philip. Come on, please open up your mouth and pray. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, amen. Please continue. Genesis 37. Twenty-two. 22. Mm -hmm. And Reuben said to them, "Shed no blood, but cast him into his into the pit, which is in the wilderness, and and do not lay a hand on him, that he might deliver him out of their hands and bring him back to his father." Amen. Now skip to verse twenty-six, please, because of time. Twenty-five to twenty-six. So Judah, twenty-five. Okay. Mm -hmm. Verse twenty-five. And they sat down to eat a meal. Then they lifted their eyes and looked, and there was a company of Ishmaelites coming from Gilead with their camels, bearing spices, balm, and myrrh, and on their way to carry them down to Egypt. Twenty-six. So Judah said to his brothers, What profit is there if we kill our brother and conceal his blood? Go ahead. 27. 27. Come and let us sell him to the Ishmaelites. And let not our hand be upon him, for he is our brother in our flesh. Go ahead. And his brothers listened. And his brothers listened. 28. Then Midianite traders passed by. So the brothers pulled Joseph up and lifted him out of the pit and sold him to the Ishmaelites for 20 shekels of silver. And they took Joseph to Egypt. Mm -hmm. 29. Then Ruby returned to the pit. And indeed, Joseph was not in the pit. And he tore his clothes. Verse 30. And he returned to his brothers and said, The Lord is no more. And I, where shall I go? Mm -hmm. 31. So they took Joseph's tunic, killed a kid of the boat, and dipped the tunic in the blood. Okay. 32. Hold on, please. Then they sent the they so, the of many hold on, please. And they brought it to Amen. God bless you so much. So, so Reuben, the one that said, let's not kill him. He wasn't there when they sold Joseph to, you know, to the traders. The Bible said Reuben returned from the pits. Why did Reuben return to the pit by himself? I am very sure that he was trying to deliver Joseph against his own will. Does it make sense? So Reuben was now, I mean, he was no more with his brothers. He had left them. 
and he came to the pit and he looked into the pit. Now my question is, if you guys have decided to put the boy in a pit, in a pit, why are you going to look for him again? Remember, when he saw that he was in the pit, the Bible says he tore his clothes and started crying. May the Lord raise a Reuben. And may the Lord make you and I Reubens. That will not be part of any evil conspiracy in the name of Jesus. May we not be part of any plot against anybody in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. No conspiracy whatsoever in any form is godly. The Bible says in Acts chapter 16 that a crowd joined the attack against Paul and Silas. One of God, let's go there, please. Acts 16 from verse 20 down. You know, Paul and Silas, when when the false prophetess was prophesying to them. And they delivered, they casted the demons out of her. The owners of the, you know, the owners of whatever she was doing arrested Paul and Silas. But something happened over there. Acts 16. Let's read from verse 20. And let's get something over there. Acts chapter 15, verse 20. 16, 1, 6. Please um, read from verse 18. I mean 19, sorry. Picture the scene. Paul and Silas were passing. A woman prophesied to them. A false, they realized, they noticed that she's a false minister. Even though whatever she was saying was true, but it is not from the Spirit of God. It was not from the Holy Spirit of God. So they casted the demons out of her. Now, the traders, the ones that were making money out of the false minister, arrested Paul and Silas. And the Bible says, they dragged them into the marketplace to the authorities, which means there was a change in environment. Does it make sense? They dragged them. They moved them from where, where the incidents happened to a marketplace. The people, the people, the owners that arrested him, I mean, arrested them, dragged them into a new place to 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 let's say a court courtroom you know or a palace or whatever it is they dragged them to the marketplace okay now verse 20 it says and they brought them to the magistrates and said these men be Jews exceedingly trouble our city and they teach customs which are not lawful for us being Romans to receive or observe we might have got please read verse 22 and let's get something there Acts 16 22 Amen. The multitude rose up against them. 
Some verses will tell you a crowd joined the attack against Paul and Silas. The multitude, how many people, uh, uh, you know, how many people dragged them? The owners, the Bible said the owners dragged them to the magistrate. Now, the people, the number of people had increased. Most of them don't even know the beginning of the story. They don't even know the truth about the story. They don't even know what was actually going on. It's like arrest, it's like catching a thief. Anybody just pounces on them and beats them without even knowing. And because, you know, without even knowing if it is true. Because there are many innocent people that have been mistaken for thieves and beaten to death. The Bible said the crowd joined the attack. The multitude rose against them to beat Paul and Silas. Men that were innocent. May we not be part of any, any form of conspiracy against anybody in the name Amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 May we not be part of any form of conspiracy against anybody, especially if you don't have the first hand information. A crowd joined the attack against Paul and Silas, started to beat them. Meanwhile, if you visit the, the main story, Paul and Silas were going, they were moving, you know, and these women were chasing after them, making noise in the name of prophecy. So they casted out the evil spirit. They, were be, they, they believed they were being tormented by the evil spirit. So they casted that spirit out. They were helping, they were helping the lady. But because some people were benefiting from the lady, they don't care how many evil spirits had filled her because they were thinking about what they can get. They turned against Paul and Silas and now they were able to get everybody else against Paul and Silas. But Paul and Silas were innocent. Never be part of any conspiracy never be part of any conspiracy especially if you don't have the first hand information and so Reuben the eldest brother of Joseph first said no let's not kill him let's put him in the pits that is okay and the Bible says he was no more with his brothers. That is why when they were selling him, he wasn't there. And so he went around, went to the pit. I am sure he wanted to pull David, I mean, Joseph out of the pit. He wanted to save his brother. But the Bible says, when he went, Joseph was no more in the pit. So he came tore his outfit and started crying. May we be like Reuben, who would rather save others. May we be like Reuben, who would rather have compassion Amen. on humanity. Amen. Don't join any form of conspiracy. Don't inherit battles and fights. There is no wisdom in it. There is no wisdom in it. Amen. There's no wisdom in it. Let our hearts and our minds be Christ-like. Think like Jesus. Be like Jesus. For the eyes of the Lord is going to and fro, seeking for whose heart is loyal to him. Be loyal to God. And not just to man. Sometimes your loyalty to man can be disloyalty to God. 
never join any form of conspiracy. Woman of God. So Reuben decided to cry because he was worried that his brother is dead. Now let's finish, please. What happened next? When, after he tore his uniform, his outfit. Skip to um, verse 26. Read, read verse 26. Yeah. Oh, 29, sorry. Acts chapter 16, verse 29. Oh, we, oh, we read, um, I mean, Genesis, Genesis 37, verse 29, I'm sorry. Yeah. Genesis 37, verse 29. Pause there. The Lord is known. Pause there, please. So you see what I was saying? So Reuben left his brothers, went to the pit where they had kept Joseph himself by himself. And when he saw that Joseph was not there, he tore his clothes. Then he returned to his brothers, which means his brothers were not around the pit. So Reuben... I believe after he had deceived them into keeping Joseph in the pit, he was going to release Joseph. Does it make sense? Man of God, does it make sense to you? So, when they decided to kill Joseph, when they decided to kill Joseph, Reuben, the firstborn, said, No, let's not kill him. Let's put him in the pit. So they kept him in the pit and they all moved away. Now Reuben left his brothers there, wherever they had moved to, and came to the pits. What do you think he was going to do there? To save his brother. But when he went there, the brother wasn't there, so he started crying. May you be like Reuben. Jude 1.23 said, But for others, save them by pulling them from fire. Never be part of any conspiracy. Never be part of any conspiracy. If anything, talk to the person. If anything, pray for the person. If anything, inquire. Don't assume. Don't just inherit battles. Don't just do things. Have a heart of Christ. Be Jesus centered. Don't allow anyone to cause you or to cause you to turn your heart against people that have not done anything to you. Never allow anybody to turn your heart against people that haven't done anything to you. Let's be careful. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Reuben was worried. He wanted to save his brother, but the brother was no more there. So when he came, he started crying. Unlike you and I, I mean, unlike Ruben, you and I, we have joined attacks against people. You and I may have inherited battles, fights that has nothing to do with us. You and I could have saved somebody. You and I could have been a blessing to someone. But we left them. To be destroyed. I want you to pray. 
and ask the Lord to touch your hearts to forgive you and to help you with this thing going forward to save others rather than helping conspiracies against them you are not different from a witch you are not different from a wizard when you devise mischief against others you are not different how different are you from a witch or a wizard if you if if you are just watching someone and say let's see what will come out of him how different how is that Christ like you may have for, for, forsaken that person that Jesus never has I want you to pray the father give me a heart like Reuben give me a heart like Jesus Christ give me a Savior's heart and not an accuser's heart a heart that saves a heart that pulls people from fire a heart that saves a heart that wins souls I want you to open up your mouth and pray the Bible says for the mother may forsake the second child but the Lord will never if you and I have been part of any conspiracy joined into plotting against anyone wishing evil for others May the Lord forgive us. Just open up your mouth and pray. And say, Lord, forgive me. Conspired against anyone. Accuser of the brethren. Plotted against people. Pray the Lord. From this day, I refuse to be part of such group. I refuse to join such people. Forgive me, Lord. Just open up your mouth. No conspiracy is godly. The Bible says in Judges 16 that the people gathered conspiring against Samson. They said, let's see, let's wait. At dawn we will strike him. May the Lord give you a heart like Jesus Christ. That our hearts will be loyal to God and not just loyal to men. The loyal to men, loyalty to men can sometimes be against God. Why must you think evil for others? Why must you wish evil for others? Why must you wish them to fail? Why are you looking and saying, let's see that he will crush Kada? Kada. Is there anything as a wolf in sheep clothing? Haha. Makado. Lehedebo. Zokorianta. Le Korendo. Zoto. Le Kada. Ye Kado Dodo Bashata. Me Kade de Bora de Debrosha. Open up your mouth. May you not join a crowd and attacking people that you don't know people that may have not done anything against you open up your mouth oh 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 cinema 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 the already my shake about may the lord give you a heart of gold a heart that helps a heart of salvation a heart that saves souls a heart that forgives a heart that embraces not a heart that plots not a heart that conspires not a heart that assumes not a heart that insinuates may the lord give us a heart like christ jesus Kadadaba. May our focus be on Jesus Christ. 
open up your mouth and pray Father, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. May you give me a golden heart. May you give me boldness. May you give me compassion to save others, to pull others from fire, from any pits, and not to wish their failure. Give me a heart, Lord, that wishes all men to do well according to your perfect will. Not a heart for anyone to slip and to fall. Holy Spirit, Father, please fill us, Lord. As we seek you, Lord, what are you seeking for? Joseph thought he was seeking for his brothers. But he was seeking for people that want to kill him. But ladies and gentlemen, when you read further, their intention is to kill the young boy. Their intention is to kill his dream. Kadadadada. dadaba was rather pushing him into greatness. Maybe you have been a victim of set conspiracies and plots i want you to be encouraging the lord that the lord is pushing you into your greatness it may be painful but just endure oh your job oh your job mararama shikaba amimi yamia me som no no Oh, yo, Somebody open up your mouth and pray and say, Lord, push me against the will, against the oath, against the plots, against the attacks. Push me. Amen, 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 some no, no. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Oh, yo, He is fire, Lord. Allah Lord in the mashe kadadaba. Amin yami amin sum no no. Oh yo ja, he answers by fire. The Lord I've chosen to serve, the one that called me, he is fire. Don't play with that fire, ha. Oh amin yami amin sum no no. Oh yo ja. Somebody just open up your mouth and pray. Ami mi nyamia. Oh yo jao. He is fire. The Lord that I serve. Ami mi nyamia. Makarara bo shata. Lerere bo shata. Merere bo shata. May the Lord pull you from every fire. May the Lord pull you from every trap. May the Lord pull you from every pit, from every dungeon, from every snare. May every snare be broken. May your soul flee like a bird from the conspiracies of evil men, from the conspiracies of wicked people, from the conspiracies of those that accuse you and judge you, especially falsely. May the Lord deliver my soul. May the Lord deliver your soul. I say he is fire, Lord. Oh, your joy. I'm in my name. I'm in my name. I'm in my name. I'm in Just open up your mouth and pray. Oh, your joy. He is fire. Father, manifest your fire around me, Lord. Manifest your fire around your people, Lord. Surround us with your fire, Lord. Against the evil wishes of people, Lord. Trust me, your joy. You are fire. Oh, me, 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 me,
You never know any conspiracy against you. In your workplace, in my workplace, among your friends, people you least expected, any kind of gathering, any kind of meeting, any kind of conspiracy. They say, let us see what comes out of his dream. May the Lord push us into greatness. Whatever looks like pain, may the Lord work it out together for your good for my good. In the name of Jesus. Just right now, I want you to pray that Father pull me from fire. Pull me from every pit. Pull me from every pit. Pull me from every disgrace. Pull me from every shame. Pull me, Lord Jesus. Makada, Likada Nabusha. Makada Rabusha. Libedi de Bura Nabusha. Masukure de Kada Nabusha. Lebre cabro caburriata. Le baba barada mache caba baba baba baba. Ye bede de bosha catata. Lebre cada da boca daba. Ye cada da bada 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 bada. Ye cada da bada da bada bada bada. Ye cada da bada da bada da bada bada. Ye cada da bada da bada da bada bada. Masukure rebosha. Macate diato. Zubariata. Tatarendo Zibede de Bosha Ye Baba 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 Ye Kadadaba Shikuri de Boshi Kadadaba Daba Daba Somebody open up your mouth. Any meeting against you, any gathering against you, physically and spiritually, I command by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it be aborted, let it be thwarted. Let there be confusion among them in the name of Jesus. May the Lord glorify himself in you. May the Lord glorify himself in me. Whatever was meant for evil, may the Lord cause it to be for our good. May the Lord give us the spirit of endurance. May the Lord give us covering. May the Lord give us power. Someone open up your mouth and pray. In your workplace, may the Lord cover you. When you are off, on your off days, on your days off, you never know what goes on against you. Your husband, pray for your husband. Pray for your wife. Pray for your children. Any conspiracy against any of them. Any plot against any of them. Any fault finders. May the Lord be your defense. May the Lord be my defense. May the Lord shield you and I. May the Lord cover you and I. The kato akado anado. Lepo kato rende boshe kapa. Mati ato atayaba. Ah, it is the, it is elevation. It is elevation. It is promotion. Oh. Tarabosha. Makada daba daba. Ye kabada bada bada ba. Ye kabada bada bada ba. Somebody open up your mouth and pray. Don't be tired. Come on, come on. Lift up prayer. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Masekete, 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 masokoto. David was Joseph was wandering, looking, seeking for his brothers, but the very people he was seeking for, the very people he was wishing were were trying to kill him. They were conspiring. Makarada Bosha. Any gathering. Any meeting. Any conspiracy. Pakato Atide Kata. Zeke. Luku Laka. Lebre Tede de Bosha. Makuri de Bosha. Metarudo. Likarende. Masoko Ade de Ah. 
<laughs> Jesus, my sick in the devotion. My sick in the devotion. Somebody open up your mouth and pray. Any conspiracy, matter from your friends, your family, people you least expect, church, Masike, Lukuranda, Zobreta, Zeke, Zeboro. enemy working against me I could bear it but the same people I pray with Makura Yeke Lahoru pray also that you will not be part of any conspiracy pray the father may I not be part of any plot against anyone Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I pray for you and I that may the Lord give us contract hearts and spirits, broken spirits. May we be humble. May our thoughts, may our desires, May our thoughts and everything align with that of the Lord. Amen. About ourselves, about others, and about God. Like Reuben, may we seek to pull people from the pits and not to conspire to kill them or to destroy them. May we not be part of any conspiracy. May we not be part of anything that seeks the failure of others. Listen. Hmm. May the Lord be your defense and my defense. Amen. The fact that what you are seeking for may want to kill you. The fact that where you have to go may be deadly doesn't mean you should you should forget your vision. Every dream that the Lord has placed in your spirits and my spirits, let it be fulfilled in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, someone has said that as long as they live, you may never get that vision done. But they are not God. They are not God. 
If God spoke it, he would do it. Absolutely. Father, Amen. whatever you have said concerning each one of us, let it be fulfilled, Lord. May we not, may we not digress. May we not do things anyhow. But may we align our purposes with what you has for us, Lord. Everybody, please lay your hand on your chest, on your hearts. It is my prayer, Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus, that you mend our hearts from any evil, any bitterness, any hurts, any offenses, any plots. May our hearts become the hearts of Jesus Christ. That seeks to win souls, to pull people, to draw all closer to Lord. May we have a heart of gold, a heart that forgives, a heart that does not harbor malices, a heart that does not conspire. May our hearts be like you, Jesus, for in this world, we are like Jesus. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord deliver you. May the Lord deliver you and I. May the Lord shield you and I. Like Joseph, whatever was meant to destroy us, may it propel you and I. May it push us into greatness. May our, may, may our focus be on Jesus Christ. May we love unconditionally. May we do things placing Jesus at the center of our decisions, of our choices, and of our path. And now, Holy Spirit, we ask that you order our steps, our utterances. Give us boldness, Lord. Give us the spirit of courage, the spirit of boldness. May we stand out. May we stand out. May we not fail. May we not fail our generations. May we not fail you, Lord. May we not fail ourselves, Lord. I pray that you visit each one of us and realign our destinies to your divine purpose and assignments for us. As we seek you, we know you are also seeking for them whose hearts are loyal to you. Like Joseph, we are wandering, seeking after our brothers. But like the brothers, many seek the downfall of others. May we not be in that group, Lord. May we not be in a group, in a crowd that joined the attack against Paul and Silas. May we be peacemakers. May your spirit fill each one of us. May we not be jealous. May we not be selfish. May we not be greedy. May your Holy Spirit fill us, Lord. Father, order our steps that we may not slip. Jonah said, when my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord. And my prayer went on to the Lord in his holy temple. May you remember the Lord in anything that you may be going through in life. May you remember the Lord. May the Lord deliver each one of us. May the Lord draw our hearts closer to him. May your prayer life, my prayer life be revived. May every anointing upon your life be fulfilled. May your giftings not be dormant. May you use your gifts. May the Lord use you. May you speak about Jesus Christ to many. May souls 
be drawn closer to Jesus through you. Like Reuben, be passionate into pulling people from fire. Fulfill your dream. Fulfill your assignments. Let the Lord be with you. Today, it may seem nothing, but a time is coming. I said a time is coming. The Lord will glorify himself. I bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And let everybody say, Amen. Amen. God bless you. Has anybody been blessed? What have you learned from this? I want everybody to talk. Please speak up. How have you been blessed? I have been blessed. I have learned that um, I should not find myself into any continuity and um, in not into any continuity because the Heavenly Father, that's not what, that's not what He wants me to do um, until I find out uh, exactly what is going on because sometimes we tend to do that, we tend to fight, we tend to pick fights and I feel like um, as you can see, you see that the Lord, I have done that, so I have to not to do that. Amen. God bless you. Anyone else? Amen. Amen. I've also been blessed. Um, so, like, just uh, this kind of people. Oh, can you please, I mean, repeat what you say? You, you sound far. please. I want us to close. Who else? God bless you so much. Anyone else, please? Anyone else has been blessed? Amen. Uh -huh. Yes, I've also learned not to be part of, uh, I mean, to conspire against people, part of the people who conspire against others, but rather help pull them out of the fire. Amen. Out Amen. of the pit. Amen. Anybody else? Anybody else? Amen. Yes. So Joseph was going to feed his brothers, help them, but they were conspiring against him. May the Lord bless us. May the Lord bless his word. By the grace of God, tomorrow, maybe, maybe, hopefully, tomorrow, we shall do six hour prayers. Amen six hour prayers we shall start it again maybe hopefully tomorrow amen i know it's a short notice but i mean if you can do the six hours whenever you have time you just join when you have time just join. i'll be playing songs in between you know so yeah but we spend six hours with the lord tomorrow amen god willing if possible if you can fast amen god bless everybody and I just pray that our hearts will be drawn closer to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you all. Amen. Thank you. And please go back to the Bible and read the whole of Genesis 37. You will love it. Amen.
God bless you. Thank you, Jesus.